Log Square back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. ThinkPad i5 Age. What the customer is saying about this laptop, uh, no sign of life, dead. Now let's try to diagnose this laptop and repair. So we have the charging port there, let's plug the charger. So plug in the charger, the meter it is coming on, you can see. But the voltage is only 4.95 volts, so it's not uh, negotiating the voltage up to 19. It's taking around 170 milliamps, so clearly this laptop is not working. Pressing the power button, check there, the current is going a little bit up, we can see the caps look light. Huh? Not anymore. But you can see, now the current is like 200 milliamps, but not coming on. Let's open this laptop quickly and try to figure out what is the problem. It's not a charging port. Uh, looks like the EC chip, it is responding, so the main power is present, the 3.3 is present. I'm curious. So the laptop, it's open. That's a nice model. I mean, the laptop looks like, like brand new. Check here, check here. Ain't no dust, nothing. Let's plug the charger and let's check the main power rail. I'm curious. And after that, we're going to check the coils. Let's see. So the main power rail is... 9 volts. Okay. That's because the battery still has some power, I'm assuming. No. Yeah, the battery voltage is going down. Let's charge the battery a little bit, yeah? So the battery is 11 volts. Let's see. Just a little bit of current into the battery. Okay. I will say less current. Let's see if that's not a reason why the voltage is uh, still 5 volts there. And the battery is not charging. Yeah, it is charging. So the battery is taking 2 amps. Let's raise the current. Yeah, 3.5 amps. But the voltage here is still like 5 volts. Unplug in, plug in this back. Same story. Uh, the PD controller is not working properly. Okay, you know what? Let's try something basic. Like I'm plugging the battery. A BIOS battery, I can see here, two wires, I'm assuming is the BIOS battery. Perfect, shorting the BIOS battery. Plugging back the BIOS battery. Let's see, maybe something simple. Plugging back this battery. Good. The charger. Any same story, nothing changed. Okay, that's fine. Let's check the quilts. So here we have 30 ohms, 23, 4, 4, that's fine, 7, that's fine. Here nothing, here nothing. And the 36 ohms, that's fine, good. And that's the charging coil. I mean, everything looks fine. Even the EC chip responding and trying to powering up the laptop. Yeah, check there. We have light on the power button. Because we push some current into the battery. And probably the laptop it is coming on. Now the laptop switch off. Because we reset the bias. Can be. Or well, the battery is still discharged. It's too low. Okay, on this point, uh, I'm not sure what we can do. So this is the PD controller. You can see the uh, the V in. So here is coming the voltage from the USB C. So the PD controller is a chip. Now this chip is hard to be tested. This chip is speaking straight with the CPU. Yeah. 
with the USB-C port, yeah, the pins are going straight to this chip. Then he's speaking with the EC chip. And in order for the PD controller to be working, it has to speak with everyone from here, right? The CPU, the EC chip, and the connection with the USB-C. So uh, I believe the only way to find out if it's good or not is to replace it. I mean, indeed, we can check few voltages around the EC chip, but that's not helpful. I will say, let's replace this chip. Now, the chip is on the other side of the board. I do have the board view. The chip is here. I will take the board out and uh, replace this chip. So we are back. You know, it's Monday. Yesterday was Easter. It's just a beautiful day. You know, blue sky, sunny. It's a perfect day. Uh, probably it's one week later from uh, where you've seen the, the first part. I got the chip because I, I didn't have that chip. So we have to replace the PD controller. I feel great. I had like a proper nice uh, Easter. Diana cooked some lamp on the oven. Uh, yeah, we had, we had a, a nice Easter. Okay, let's try to fix this laptop. This beautiful laptop. And a beautiful day. It's, it's like perfect day. I mean, outside like 12 degrees. Proper nice. Okay, let me let this on one side. Now, let's see. This is the PD controller. You remember we checked last time. We checked with the... Uh, we checked with, I checked with the schematic. And uh, yeah, that chip is dead. Let me plug the charger. So plug in the charger. Let's check one. What happened here? That's sick. I crack the screen. Lol. Still working. Lol. It's still working. I can't believe I cracked the screen. <sighs> Feels bad, man. I have to buy another one. How did I crack the screen? Because it was on my desk. How that happened? Yeah, 4.9 volts. Yeah, it feels bad. 100 milliamps. Let me grab the thermal camera. Someone sent me another USB meter, but it's not working. I think it's faulty. Yeah, someone sent me this. But I tested, I feel like two times I tested, and it's not working for some reason. I mean, it has no buttons. It does have some buttons. One second. You have the own button. Anyway, if anyone knows what I'm doing wrong here, so you have type C input. Okay. It's not working. What I'm doing wrong? Pressing the power button. Nothing. So this is faulty or what? Why is it not working? Anyone has this meter? Yeah, it is working. That's crazy. Okay. So what about now? How can I use it to USB C? Okay, but how is working without this? I mean, how, how can I make this? Yeah, I can't use it like that. How you can use it? And without this uh, plug, it's not working. Like that. Input. Oh yeah, it is working. Lord. But it shows me no current. Wait, why this is showing no current? Why is showing me no current? It is working. I have 4.9 volts, but the current is showing me zero. So what I'm doing wrong here? Hmm? Why are you saying zero current? Is faulty or what? Okay. Okay, let's go back to the old one. The tools are important, you know, but the tools you can count on. You know what I mean? So I'm pretty sure this is... Uh, yeah, it feels bad. 
uh, this is accurate, 170 milliamps, okay? So with 170 milliamps, our PD controller, which is here, is getting hot. Also, something else is getting hot, but probably that's normal. So we have to replace this chip, uh, probably in order to have, uh, uh, in order to have here like 19 volts. Let's replace the chip quickly. 400, 480 degrees, around 40%, 45% air. Let's take the chip out. Perfect, the chip is out. RTS5455, yeah, that's the chip. Chip position like that, okay. Let's solder the other chip. This one, yeah, perfect. Let me lower the temperature to 370. Good, just a little bit of flux. Little bit, perfect. Now let's solder this chip properly on place. Yeah, you can see the chip is moving by itself. Good, so the chip is soldered properly on place. The question is, it's working or not. Let me grab some heat sink. Thermal pad, cooling down the board. Are quite hard to be, you know, to buy those chips. But I found them on um, AliExpress. You can buy them from there. Yeah, perfect. Let's plug the charger. Uh, let's see. Check the fan. The fan is spinning, and we have nineteen volts. Wow. 500 milliamps, 400 milliamps, that's mean uh, the board started. You can see? That was the issue, the PD controller. Let me put the board back quickly. Actually, we can plug the battery and see if it's charging, right? Yeah. So plug in the battery, plug in the charger. 19 volts, 500 milliamps, 2.6 amps. Check that. 19 volts, 2.6 amps. You can see, 2.7 amps. Insane amount of current. 19 volts. 19 volts is very important. Yeah, 2.8 amps. Wow. In the heatsink, it's warm. Working perfectly. Yeah. Let me put the board back quickly and uh, let's do a final test. You see, this is something what I hate the most on ThinkPads. I mean, if you have to take the motherboard out, then you have to take the keyboard out uh, in order to plug the keyboard back. Yeah, you see? Proper annoying. You can see you have to take the keyboard out, then you can plug the keyboard into the motherboard. LOL. Check here. So basically, the EC chip has a, like a window here behind the keyboard. You can see it? Why the, they left the window here? They have a special tool to program the EC chip from here? Who knows? Maybe for cooling? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Let's test it. Plug in the battery. Uh, one second, I need this screw here on the keyboard. So plug in the battery, eh? plug in the charger. Now 
19 volts, 2.8 amps. You can see, probably you can't see. Yeah, check here. Uh, you can't see. 19 volts, 2.8 amps. Yeah. And the laptop should come on. We have picture. Check here. Working perfect. Let's wait because the BIOS is reset. And the laptop it is on. Uh, escape to continue. The keyboard is working. All good, we have picture. It's charging fine, you can see that. Unplugging the charger. Yeah, the battery it is uh, holding the charge. Yeah, but it's very discharged. 2% and it's charging fine, you can see. Good. Now the charging current, 2.8 amps, which is perfect. And we have 19 volts. So I believe this laptop is repaired. Okay, so I'm going to stop now. Hopefully this uh, video will be helpful for you. Just have in mind, if you see it's not charging or it's stuck on, uh, on 5 volts, uh, you have to replace the, the PD controller. So I will say uh, thank you for watching. Have a beautiful Monday. And uh, see you probably tomorrow, right? Yeah. You know, don't forget to like, subscribe. Yeah.